Hi, my name is Danny Kincaid, and I'm the director of the Biological and Chemical Oceanography Data Management Office, or BicoDemo. BicoDemo is a publicly accessible domain science digital data repository that was created in 2006 to curate, publish, and ensure archive of digital data and information resulting from biological, chemical, and biogeochemical research that's conducted in coastal, marine, Great Lake, and even laboratory environments. BicoDemo is primarily funded through grants from the United States National Science Foundation. And our mission is to work closely with individual researchers throughout the data life cycle to help them organize, describe, and share their science output while educating them in best data management practices and curating a rich repository of research-ready marine-related data for use in science, policy and management, and educational efforts. It's through this mission that we hope to achieve our vision of an unparalleled data catalog of well-described and interoperable marine-related data for use and access by all end users for the purposes of advancing oceanographic research. My name is Adam Shepard, and I am the technical director of the Biological and Chemical Oceanography Data Management Office. Over the next five years, BicoDemo is refactoring its entire data infrastructure. And this effort is driven by a focus towards reducing the technical debt of our software systems. You know, the inherent challenges of managing big data and cross-repository interoperability requires us to find creative solutions for data storage, discovery, presentation, and of course, machine actionable information exchange. As such, we recognize that the data has a much longer shelf life than the software that serves it, so that a new type of flexibility in our infrastructure is needed to enhance and support the needs of our community. Informed by the W3C's best practices for data on the web, we achieved this flexibility by orchestrating BicoDemo with an RDF-based knowledge graph that migrates valuable knowledge from these software systems into the data itself. This knowledge engineering effort highlights the challenges we face as a grant-funded data management office. With a five-year funding cycle, sustainability of our office becomes a major challenge. Now, primarily funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation, we must align our activities to their mission of focusing on transformative research. Concurrently, we must also remain responsive to our user community, whose needs change with more frequency than our five-year grant plans. And since funding ongoing operations is not part of our funder's mission, it's imperative that we innovate with every new five-year proposal. At the same time, we must have flexibility in our five-year plans to quickly address community needs in order to remain as a relevant data resource to the global science community. How does BicoDemo see the WDS helping in its operations? Well, as a new member, we hope to learn a lot more about the WDS's role and how BicoDemo can leverage its community and expertise and services that it has to offer. We look to the WDS to support communications across all data stakeholders on the role and the value of repositories. We also hope to network with other like organizations to collaboratively arrive at solutions to more of these pressing uh, challenges in the data curation process. As new members, Adam and I want to thank the World Data System for allowing us to introduce our repository BigoDemo, and we look forward to engaging with WDS members in the future. Thanks.